Maine from Valerie Ross and Turner Law Firm. Um, you know, we, we've we been looking for some folks to help us out there uh, for, with the tax assessor's office and, and, and Valerie and Meredith are extremely experienced in this space. Uh, they've been doing this work for years and come very, very highly recommended by the Fulton County uh, this attorney's office as and they help Fulton County with their appeals in half a year. Uh, they they are very seem very interested in doing this work for us and um, you know have the availability and I thought they were an excellent choice uh, for you and uh, I wanted you guys to have a chance to meet them and uh, let them and I, and I see you've already they've already told you a little bit about themselves and about their practice and I don't know if you have anything uh, in more detail, Valerie and Meredith, that you want to say, or if the members of the board have any questions, but uh, this is who I am recommending as uh, to serve as your counsel. Mr. Coons has decided to seek other opportunities, um, and I think the end of the at end of the first week, he'll be with us through the first week of May 7th, but a lot of that I'm hopeful will be transition time. Um, but I wanted you, to, you all, before we got everything finalized, to have an opportunity to meet uh, Valerie and Meredith. So uh, that's the introduction I'll make. And Valerie, if you and or Meredith have anything you'd like to say, please do so. And uh, and if the board members have any questions, please uh, ask ask any questions you might have. Um, and I think then after that, we'll we'll be able to go forward with the rest of your agenda. And uh, Valerie, you and Meredith. Can feel free to stay throughout the agenda. Usually, it's about half an hour, or you can leave. But that, that'll be after you. But for now, anything else you'd like to say to the board or board? Any questions you have of um, Meredith and uh, Valerie? Great question. Just to say, I do have a comment. Welcome to the board. Well, thank you. We thank look forward you. to working with all of you. Yes. Helping. And and I think I think they'll Steve will work with them directly in terms of, you know, how I mean I'm assuming they'll be coming to one of you will come to the meetings uh, or at least participate virtually. I know it's quite a haul to get down there from your office up in Buckhead. And uh, I admire you for making it there at nine o'clock this morning. Uh, with traffic and everything, so kudos, <laughs> kudos to that. So, well, uh, but uh, Steve's, Steve's one that will dialogue with you guys the yes, most, yes. Uh, because he'll he'll have questions come up and he'll even answer, mm -hmm. which is what well, you'll he'll help him tremendously in that aspect. It's my understanding. I, I've never been a chief operator, but but I suspect that that uh, will be a the main uh, focus of y'all. We are we are very smart team here, so uh, I'm sure I won't be the only one communicating with you. But it's um, we'll be back. Right. Now I have a question: Will you guys also be working with the BOE, or is it just uh, our group here? Um, no, they are going to be um, doing whatever. Uh, oh, there will be our legal counsel for uh, the appraisal department. Okay. Yeah. Right. Makes sense. Yes. And we're open to if you would like us to be here in person, we can be here in person for the meetings or virtually. We don't have a problem. It wasn't an issue getting here this yeah. morning. So whatever your preference, we're fine. That's it. I'll say our communication over here. There are other things that you do as attorneys or another other. Government agency? Yes. yes, we represent the city of Fairburn, mm -hmm. city of Atlanta, Fulton County, um, city of Stockbridge. So we have just done local government land use and zoning. Um, any of their, well, predominantly a lot of their litigation, um, excess tax sale issues, um, just the gamut of different local, local government work. People yes. have the best experience. Yes, yes, yes. And so does our law partner, Randy, who is not able to be here today. As far as attending meetings, I would lean toward Steve's recommendation on that. Uh, to me, one person, one person attending virtually would probably 
hopefully be adequate for both meetings. And uh, that has been the case since um, COVID. So, uh, well, we definitely wanted to be in person today, but we appreciate it. Yes, we wanted to. I appreciate you being. I think we are deeper than. <laughs> so can we get my our first order of business is the approval of the previous meeting, uh, the minutes from the previous meeting. Do you have a motion? I make a motion that we approve the previous meeting. That's second. So motion is second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion four. Next, great column on the agenda is personal property digest changes and appeals. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, Joey. This is Eugene, Mr. Nicky. Good morning, morning. Morning. Good morning. We have uh, one personal property account that's uh, had, that has been closed for close to 2020. Uh, the business closed in 2020, so we're moving to 2021. We had an estimated value of $50,000 on it, and it's going from $50,000 to zero for tax year 2021. And we had an aircraft in personal property uh, called call, call number N225PC. It had an estimated value of $50,000 to the aircraft, uh, basically, it was salvaged. And so for parts in 2019, it showed back up on the digest. So we had to remove it again in 2021. If we can, hopefully, she never see it again. Okay. Can we come back later? You want to just call me? Right. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Uh, before we do that, I'd like to make a motion to approve the items that Eugene bring Make motion that we approve the items uh, presented by Eugene. Uh, Eugene, 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 I'm Adrian Marchio. I'm the Deputy Chief Appraiser here in the Douglas County Appraisal Department. I am going to present to you some mobile home corrections. This one was a combination of the land and the mobile home together, but they were owned by separate people. So we had to separate them. So parcel ID number 120-3535, acres. Uh, we removed the mobile home from this real parcel to the pre-deal parcel and gave it his own uh, parcel ID, ZZ88B, for tax year 2020. It was already corrected for tax year 2021. The original mobile home was demolished in 2019, and a new mobile home was added as a pre-deal for 2021. The real parcel for 2020 was $92,760. It is now $40,000. Or 60. The new parcel, which is number two, ZZ88B, is a 2019 28 by 6 mobile home. We added it to the new mobile home digest pre deal for the tax year 2020. It was already added for 21 and 22 pre deal digest. The added value is $52,300. Okay. The next one is a real parcel correction and an exempt approval. I um, received a lot of help on that. Wait, did I skip one? I did. Oh, let's correct. go back to homestead corrections. I'm sorry. Homestead correction. This is parcel ID 3341817. This is the reinstatement of the exemption that was taken off for tax year 21 after receiving the uh, return notice. Uh, moved, left no mailing address. This was the applicant who was homebound, and we sent our appraisal assistant out to help process her documents. Um, there, we, re we recommend that we reinstate her L762 year old exemption. 
Uh, the value is no change for that year for 2021 of $232,700. And her frozen value is put back to $201,767. All right, let's get on to the real uh, part of termination and exemption approval. This one was a little complicated. We had a meeting back in November with the homeowner, the planning and zoning head, the GIS head. I think, Bob, I think you sat in on the meeting for a minute there with us. And this one was, uh, it came to our attention based on the foreclosure of the church and uh, with the planning and zoning and the GIS mapping uh, heads here we got it corrected. Lynn did a lot of work on this. I want to thank Lynn for uh, helping with it. And if I get anything wrong, Lynn, please jump in. Okay, starting, this started out as a seven acre parcel. The foreclosure was actually on a portion of it, not the whole thing. And uh, we went ahead and split it back out to the original, uh, the original D. All right, parcel 55-2526 is a mobile home and 2.12 acres along Highway uh, 78 in South Carolina Road. We split the parcel back to the original deed description for tax years 2020 and 2021. We corrected the seven acres with the mobile home and a church. Uh, this parcel is now just a mobile home and 2.12 acres. So the value for 2020 was reduced from 830000 698 to 43,998. Again, that is a 2.12 acres and just a mobile home. The value for 2021 was reduced from 375,000, which was the purchase price for 2020. So we had to set it to that value to 43,998. The new parcel, which is being added to the digest, is parcel 155-2567, which is the church and the 4.88 acres. And we added this to the digest again for the original deed description for tax years 2020 and 2021. Um, this parcel is now a church in 4.88 acres. The value is 806,400 for tax year 2020 and the 375,000 for 2021 based on the 2020 purchase, Senate Bill 346. I'll go along with this parcel. They filed for exemption because they are a church. And um, we recommend approving the exemption status for the church. It is Global World Church for 2021. For 2021, the, part, the parcel was held in the name of Family 4 LLC. And based on the documents provided, which were some minutes and a legal recommendation, we are recommending that we approve it for uh, exemption for 2021. I can uh, read the approval from the uh, recommended by the attorney, if you all don't mind. Uh, he stated, and this is from Robert Coons, we have learned from court rulings and other cases that the use of the property must be the critical issue to be considered rather than how it is titled, invested in the property or any other issues. Since the use of the property has continuously been a church, Prior to the time of the entire property was foreclosed upon and when it was subsequently divided and the continued use as a church was established and continues through this day. It appears that the use of the property as a church has been continuous and uninterrupted from when it was Deliverance Church through the time when it became Global Word Church in November of 2020. And it has continued to be used as Global Word Church, including through January 1 of 2021 and thereafter. Consequently, I believe it was appropriate that the church and the Lord tax exemption be allowed. Okay. Uh, next, we have some agreements. These are the agreements with Ryan. Ryan had about 61 parcels from this set of Ryan appeals. Uh, 19 of them they withdrew, and we don't have those here. But of uh, the seven, the first seven we came to an agreement on, and the uh, 37 below, there were no changes in the recommended value, and they agreed with that. I'm just going to go over a few of the changes. Excuse me, they are tax reps, and they are representing several investor properties. <laughs> yes, okay, I'm sorry. All right. 
And of the first seven where we uh, made agreement or changes, all the agreements and changes are less than 15%. Um, our appraiser went over all of these thoroughly and we felt that these values were, were good. So we don't recommend them at two times. We recommend we agree with those values. Again, the 37 have no changes and then the other 19, they withdrew. Okay. And I have a separate page for those so you can see it. Those are homes or what? These are all homes except for one. I think one might be. <clears throat> nope, these are all homes. I'm sorry. On the next one, the DOE decisions. And there's another sheet in there where you can see it. I have a, a little one for me on some of the other sheets. So you don't have to swim on them. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mark. Okay. Mark, this is Mary and Bowers. Hi, sir. Nice to meet you. On this sheet here, I know you're squinting on those right there. I heard so. I squint on the big ones. Okay. It's the one with three sections on it. Uh, these are the BOE decisions uh, made on from the hearing on April 13th. Uh, all the decisions were less than 15% except for the one. Uh, parcel ID 5515305. And it went from 402000 down to 343. And that was because the homeowner stated that the uh, basis was not finished as of January 1, 2021. But it was finished for tax year 2022. So they're only going to get that value for 2021. It will include the finished shape All right. For the BOE decisions, the hearing is on April 11, 2019. Everything was less than 15% except for one, and that is parcel ID 1006189. And that, even though it was a 30% cut in value, it really was less than $20,000. And it was because the home was in poor condition with extensive interior repairs needed. And the BOE hearing from April 20th, we have everything is less than 15% except for the first one. And that's parcel number 77, uh, 1514. And that was over 100 acres over in the Brookmont subdivision off the of Chapel Hill Road. And uh, the builder presented that it was 50% of the land is unbuildable due to solid rock terrain, and that he had at least a couple of contracts that were canceled. I think Colty Homes was, they had a contract there, but after they discovered the solid rock bed, they canceled his contract. Uh, so uh, we recommend uh, not going any further on any of these particular values at DOE. But I do want to say, and we am not here today, I think she spoke about one that she was going to be OE about where the breach, it was true, the property was sold to three people and they ended up breaching on one. And she went to BOE and the BOE side is with the attorneys. We do we would like to go further on that, but we'd like to get more details and speak with the attorneys before we proceed and she'll speak to. We have work for you already. <laughs> so we'd like to speak to you about that breach of this. That's all I have. Any questions? So when that breach come back on four, should we do the next um, month or uh, next week? Well, we only have 30 days from the date of the BOE hearing to file for the computer. Okay. So we are going to try to get with the attorney, see what we need to do to get that filed. We may come back to you again, even if you have to maybe call you all on the phone. But we'll get back to you within the 30 days. And it was April 19th on that hearing. So you, the days are counting. Okay. A uh, question about sure. the, uh, <clears throat> the hearing was like that. Okay. That property that, that did not have a finished basement. Well, it was it was partially finished. And we're not 100% finished with it yet. And um, go ahead. Well, and my question when it's finished, do we expect it to uh, return to that original DOA value or, or reduced value? We are going to redo it. We probably already had for 2022. So we're only going to have the 343,000 for tax year 2021. Right. So when we send notice it out uh, in, a, in a couple of months, it will have the finished base and notice. And that will be the 410? It we may or may not. I'm not sure what our values are looking like right now. Gotcha. Okay. 
Any other Most questions? likely it's going to be small. Can you change motion to include these items as noted? I can make a motion to include the items of the DOD hearings dated April 13th, 19th, and 20th. Second. I have a motion and second when we go to the second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion to say aye. Thank you, Adrian. All right. That uh, when we do those commercial property changes, and that is Joey. It's a Joey. It's a company of commercial property. It's not the digital. It's not the digital. It's a team. Good morning. Um, for those of y'all who don't know me, know me, I'm Joey Craig, the commercial advisor. Um, well, it looks like the first item that we have, these are just uh, commercial appeals that were uh, finalized before the board of equalization here. Um, the few different reps, and you can see none of them are really that far, you know, over the top. Um, if you look at my comments on the first one, you can see the reason for the uh, settlement agreement was for uniformity of a similar type view store. Now, it's comparing, and I think this was an advanced auto parts to um, one that's close in proximity for another for another auto parts store. Uh, so that was a reason for that change. Uh, the second through the six were based on these were all like convenience stores. And after further uh, looking at the values, um, I concluded that the income looked like it was down for that type for those right on that similar use. Um, these are older type stores. Um, so that was a great one for those. Uh, one of them did go down. We see the fifth one. The parcel 36318231 was 18%, and that just happened to fall out of the range of the normal 15%. But, um, that's pretty much it on that. Those, and the very last one was actually uh, parcel 6225.87 was a refund request, and this was also a convenience store property that they did file an appeal on that they came in and. So questioning the value after the appeal period was up. Uh, um, after looking at um, the local area rent, showed a reduction in value. So I made that change from 711,300 to 580,000 even, or 18%. And the last group was just BOE hearings uh, from 420 and 421. You can see that nothing was both the lowest or the highest reduction was 15% on three properties. Uh, the rest of them are acceptable, and I don't really go in going any further on any of those changes. Question on the, uh, the, the, the uh, 62 to 2587. Yes. Mentioned that the local area rent shows a reduction. So was that the, their rent, rental tenants' rent dropped? And therefore, the value drop. Is that, is that what you mean by that? I just mean like the what I look at on um, online stuff that I can look at to see if I think it shows the area being less than what our actual, you know, the income value is on it showing. Like different dollar, difference in dollars square foot, basically. But they were the building owners, correct? Right. So, so we're saying that their rents went down. Is that yeah, because they actually own and occupy the building, so it's not. There, when I'm just looking at it through an income perspective, what could they get if they were to right, be using right their, their tenants? Right. Okay. So just build to that. Are other properties located in that same area, the rent is lower and it's kind of comparable to what the recommendation is here as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but they have grouped into like sub market areas. Okay. 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 Make a motion that we approve the commercial appeals for the BOA meeting 426 and commercial BOE hearing results from 420 and 21. Yes, okay. have a motion and second. Do you want to the discussion? I'll make it aye. 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 Motion passed. Do we have any other unfinished business? No. And thank you very much, Mr. Leo. Would our chief operator like to make any comments? And um, 
no nothing new to add as you buy or can see now that Amanda has quit the uh, keyboard program. So she's not in and she's all out of with us. So we are again looking for new staff. So it's the same thing again. Uh, we, uh, question We never had that position filled. I don't remember an administrative. No, it, uh, it's new and creative. It was, I think it was being done, but it was being done by somebody that was doing appraisal work. Sherry. Sherry, Sherry was doing it. All. Right. So yeah. it sounds like a big job. It I'm absolutely sure. is. And um, and we need an independent person to do it. I don't want the, the um, personal property appraiser who's doing it. Uh, we were being shortchanged. So we had um, personal property doing everything, and personal property was being left behind. So we need to fix personal property. We, we don't want all these um, changes and um, missing out on producing a $300,000 property to zero and all that. So we're going to catch these now early, but we need a new person. So we're going to get a new person. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. So who's filling in now for Amanda? Lauren. Lauren is still there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lauren is our homestead. She is swamped right now. We're we're short four persons, four bodies right now. So we're doing interviews as we speak. So I think it did they said wanted somebody that'll show up. <laughs> <laughs> Technical question. Uh, is this software creating a transcript of the meeting? Yes. Yeah, this yeah. this 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 thing is very, very hard. I think. And it knows who's saying what? No, only the ones that are in Okay. For us, it's just um, it doesn't know. Okay. <laughs> but you can see that it's here with us. Yes. Yeah, if we were on the phone, it would pick it up through an individual bus. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it identified who had all the four of us that's been programmed and you can see it now. I don't know what I knew we would fix it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here, yeah. He yeah. has a button on the side there. No, <laughs> we got to use external mics. Yeah, so we can put We didn't do it in time. We did think about 10 years. <laughs> They um our our tech tech person right. who is our supervisor right. personal property. Right. He updated the uh, the um what the, the, the run <laughs> he, he ran some updates. Okay. So now the it, it, it's missing one of the drivers for the speaker. So <laughs> updates do <laughs> that. Yeah. So yeah, so we just need to fix that. But we'll be back in business. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, updates tend to do that. Yes. Drivers. Yeah. But uh, that's it from me. Um, I want to welcome uh, Meredith and uh, Valerie too. And I, I look forward to working with the team. Thank you, Jake. Yeah. It's great to see you. Thank you. Well, that's it from me. So the ball is it. I would entertain a motion to the Close the meeting. Oh no, we haven't discussed the next meeting. See? Yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's a good idea. Also, you can do it remotely on the team, right? Um, anything that my boss is saying, so tell me the thing.
the ten. You'll have a very good day. Next year's personal present. Same time. No. I don't have a physical one that day. We have one the last two times. Oh, no. Point to you, by the way. Recorders. Yeah, you won the last two. But the brother I didn't do. If that's it, I would entertain a motion to close the meeting. Like, would you want to have an interview? A second. Any discussion? All the third set out. Uh, uh, meeting closed.